Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's Tuesday morning. We're all goofed up, man, from all this holiday stuff and our erratic schedules. You know me. I don't even know what day it is under normal circumstances. So it is Tuesday morning. It's about 1030. I have been up for a bit doing my usual routine kind of organizing stuff, finding places for all the Christmas gifts, and trying to get myself situated for what I need to do today. First thing I need to do is go get something to eat. Tis a, another nice sunny day out. It's 37 degrees, so you see it's slowly but surely working its way up. I guess by Friday is when it's supposed to get up into the 60s. Got that to look forward to. Definitely happy that that whole teen shit's gone. So today will be the usual madness of the monkey. Okay, that's bugging the shit out of me. Let's go get breakfast and, and then try to think of what the hell else we got to do. I went to the Navy Exchange to try to schedule my eye doctor's appointment. And I have to do it so that it's after the first of the year, so that insurance covers it. Unfortunately, she's closed today. I was like, ah, great. So I walked around the exchange just to look you know, around whatever since I was already here. And then on my way back, I thought, well, let me see if I can schedule with, you know, the, the glasses place right next door. And she said that, yeah, she could schedule the appointment. And she's like, you know, she actually has something available tomorrow. And I was like, crap, you know, I would love to be able to do that, but I, I can't do it until after the first of the year. So my appointment is Monday morning, the 9th at 9 a.m. And then I will start that whole process of trying to get contacts. I've already bought sunglasses. <laughs> I thought to myself, and this will take you back, and it dates me. The original Terminator, 1984, Arnold Schwarzenegger wore these sunglasses that were called gargoyles. And at the time, it was gargoyles by a company called Protec. And they were, they were really, ooh, because they were made of polycarbonate, and they were, they were like bullet resistant and all that kind of shit. Very fitting, and they were wraparound. That was before the wraparound craze started happening. And... I mean, like all of us, because we all wanted to be a Terminator, we all got uh, gargoyle sunglasses. I mean, a ton of us bought them. They were huge. They were really big. And, you know, they looked stupid, but we didn't care because Terminator. So I've had several pair over the years. Don't know what happened to them, you know, such as life, especially when once you get into the military and, and you know, with college and moving around and all that kind of shit. So I just, you know, they sort of fell off my radar. And then every once in a while, I'd go back and I'd think I wanted to buy a pair. And then I ended up not doing it. So this time I thought to myself, huh, I'm going to get a pair of gargoyles. So I typed it in and their thing came up and I didn't look closely. And I clicked on the link and it took me into a Foster Grants page. <laughs> like, Foster Grants? What the shit? Uh, so I backed up and I looked at it again. And then I realized that they said... Uh, they had like a sort of a farewell message saying, okay, we've been doing this for 40 years, but as of December 31st, 2022, gargoyles will be no more. So now I'm thinking, shit, now I need to get these things before you can't get them anywhere or people start charging an exorbitant amount of money for them. Now, the other thing that happened in this 40 years is that they became so popular because of the Terminator. And then they, you started seeing the, like, a, what was it? Um, Delta Force. Uh, with Chuck Norris and it showed all the all the team operators were all wearing gargoyles and they were all standing in this field and they all had their gargoyles on cool as shit anyways so they got really popular and they ended up branching off from Protec and then it just became gargoyles and they started selling all you know other kinds of, of gargoyles since it became a brand not a style and then they also started making them in a in a smaller frame size so that they you know they weren't quite like yoko ono sunglasses on people you know that's another thing that i was like oh yeah and i'll get the smaller one so i in my life i have never had the smaller pair and it's been decades since i've had a pair of gargoyles i mean i think i was still in college the last time i had a pair so i bought two i got black frame with like the amber not amber but like but like the the brown lens because they're not as dark. And then I got the black frame with the ice blue lenses, just cause. So I ordered those, those will be here by this weekend, I think. I think that's when they're supposed to come. Maybe they're supposed to be here tomorrow. I don't know, they'll be here. And then I'll give you a fashion show. But I thought that that was uh, both cool and sad because like gargoyles were just huge. 
I mean, it was such a big part of, of my ute because, you know, we all were motivated by Schwarzenegger and Stallone and, you know, you wanted to be a Terminator and you wanted to be Rambo and all that kind of shit. It, it's sad that, that they're going away and I certainly don't know enough about the reason why, but I mean, hell, it was a good 40 years. Yeah, got myself some gargoyles in anticipation of having contacts so that I can actually see as well as be shaded. It's five after 12. I just talked to my boss. His question to me was, you aren't going out this week, are you? And I was like, no, I, I, that's why I went out last week and I have other shit that I'm going to do. And he's like, yeah, dude, I, I kind of foresee maybe an hour, an hour and a half of work, you know, get your final timesheets in, get your final expense report, you know, button up your sales force and then don't work. <laughs> I love him. Oh, I just love this. It just keeps getting better all the time. And I also found out that we are not having a national sales meeting. So for a change, they're not going to fly us to Chicago in freaking February or March to, you know, get stuck in a snowstorm. Okay, let's go do something else. Okay, kids, couple of projects out of the way. I've been whining about the fact that this fall cam suction cup mount won't stay up on the windshield ever since I got my new windshield. So I looked up several ways to make a suction cup stick like it should. And basically what it gets down to is that it, they say that the suction cups have lost their, uh, their flatness or whatever. And I can see that. And that's kind of like backwards to what I was thinking. I was thinking that it needed to be sort of concave, but I guess it doesn't. It needs to be flat. So uh, the, the one guy used a, like a Bic lighter and I wasn't going to do that. Uh, a lot of people suggested a heat gun, some like hot water. I can't put this fall cam one in hot water though, because behind it, there's, there's almost like a, like a foamy type thing. And I didn't want, you know, and I wanted to get that wet because then it's going to get mildewy and shitty. So I used a heat gun and I heated up the surface of the suction cuppy rubber shit for, I don't know, like five minutes. And I also did my monkey that, that I've had hanging in every one of my cars for like the past 15 years. You know, like I heated that up. I think I, I thought I heated it too much because it looked like I really gnarled the, the one side out. And this is going to be a bitch because the sun is going into the buildings across the street and reflecting off the windows. And that's what's going into my eye. So I'm going to show you what I did here. So I have put those back up now. And the suction cup, I mean, it's up there. The other thing I did was I went in and I washed them both after I heated them with water and wiped them dry. And then I used some cocoa, what, cocoa? Coconut oil, like the hard shit from Trader Joe's. And I got my fingers greasy with it and I wiped a layer of that on there on both suction cups. And then I wiped it all off with a paper towel and stuck them up there so far and it'll probably fall while I'm talking about it. The monkey fell like within 30 seconds and it's been up there for a few minutes now. I also, here's the thing that I Frankenstein together and I put this uh, fall cam F22 uh, quick release on here. Now this is for like a monitor, but I adhered it to this cheese plate. So then I took the, you know, the Velcro with the sticky shit and stuck it on the back of the cheese plate and then put it to the dash. And you can see all the little lines of where I've had shit on there before, but I put that on there now. So now I can put the, okay, I had to slide it over a little bit, but now, boom. Now I've got the 360 X3 up there if I want. And if I don't, then I can go right back to this, but I need to, uh, I need to redo it. Hold on. Can't do this with one hand. Okay. There. Now it's up there and it's not running into any of this shit. So when I pull it off, there, it comes right out and just slides right back up. And then that's fairly level and facing forward. Oh my God, it's like a laser beam going into my eyes. Okay, so now power is connected. It's facing forward. Now I can do my time lapses again. So why don't we take a little trip to three ships, get some bean, and I'll do a time lapse.
Oh, okay, kids. The belly is seriously full. Oh, so many tacos. But it wasn't even just the tacos. It was all the chips. So many Tostito chips with both guacamole and queso. So the monkey is just fat and full and feeling pretty good about it. So I'm not going to go on too much longer with this. There isn't anything else going on tonight. I'm literally going to finish this video and then go down and chode on the couch. I did ask my compatriots on my little chat group for work if we indeed had Monday off, because I, if I hadn't mentioned it or if I cut it out, I only have information on 2022. So since Monday is 2023, I didn't know if we had it off or not. And I just found out that not only do we have Monday off, but we also have Tuesday off because it's the first day of rest of the year. So I've got like a, a four day, five day weekend. Crazy, huh? So like, oh, I'm all for vacation and time off and everything. But when there's that much time off for me, it, it really saps out the motivation and makes me really lazy. So next week is going to be a bitch to get back in the groove. And, and at least they told me that I have Tuesday off because I would have scheduled to be on the road on Tuesday. So now I need to rethink what I'm going to do next week. We'll get there eventually. But for tonight, belly's full. Time to go hit that couch. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.